Hello students, welcome to EPG Parshala. And I am Dr. Javed Ali from Department of Pharmaceutics, Faculty of Pharmacy, Jami Ahmedar. Today we are going to discuss about a module which is dealing with cosmetics, marketing and advertising of cosmetic products under paper cosmetics. In the present module, we are going to talk about the techniques of product development, determining the target market for the cosmetic products and designing the product packaging around the target market, deciding on initial distribution channels and creating a high quality business website and focusing on advertising. Coming to the techniques for new product development, Initially, when we talk of brainstorming, it is highly structured set of rules to enhance creativity. It is typically used to generate creative solutions and ideas and people are asked to pen down, to write down. The second technique is a Delphi. It is a iterative survey of experts which provides substantial improvement over ratings by unstructured groups. The expert opinion survey are also one of the important part and it is referred to taking ideas from experts and developing product accordingly and it can be done with small samples. Experimentation to learn about the optimal price to charge for a frequently purchased product. It is necessary to depart from what one believes to be the optimal procedure. Then coming to foot in the door is select a small operational step and a set a time deadline. This is usual in gaining commitment. Judgmental bootstrapping, the development of a model of an expert by interfering the expert's rules. It is analogous to conjoint analysis. Expect that a small number of experts are used, large, larger, rather large number of potential consumers. Coming to the survey research, this is useful for assessing customer needs and also assess expert opinion about how customer will react. The role playing in this method, people are asked to play roles of people in given situation like price negotiation. Identify target market. Identifying target market helps to serve customers in a better way. It drives directly to the real customers. Having a good understanding of target market will help you develop new products and market your business effectively. To identify the target market, you first need to answer these questions. What are you selling and what makes it so unique? To whom do you want to sell it? That is, who is your target customer? Why do people buy your products and after answering this the following things should be considered while identifying target market think about what problems your product or service solves if you want people to buy your product or service you need to make sure it will solve some kind of problem for them you should try to be specific as possible when identifying the problems your product solves. Consider your competition. Think about what other businesses offer for similar products or services as yours and how you can differentiate yourself from them. If you have a physical store, your competition will probably be other businesses in the same community. If you operate online, you will have to do some research to determine what other options 
your potential customers have. A quick online search for keywords relevant to your business should help you identify your online competitors. Make a list of characteristics. Once you understand what kind of problem your product solves, you can start thinking about what kind of person might have these problems. List as many characteristics that your ideal customers would have as you can think of. For example, if you are selling dog food, your list might include people who own dogs, are knowledgeable about nutrition, and care about sustainable agriculture, etc. Think about the cost of your product. You need to compare the cost of your product to other similar products available to potential customers. If your product is more expensive than other products, you need to make it clear to your customer why it is better option for them. You also need to think about what kind of person would be willing to pay for your product and whether your customers think of your product as a necessity or a luxury item. Find out who our current customers are. The best way of to start learning more about who will buy your product is to find out who is already buying them. You can use this information to help target other people who have similar interests or who fall into similar demographic groups. You can learn about your customers simply by engaging in conversation, organizing a reward program. If you have a website, Google Analytics can tell you a lot about the people who are currently visiting your site. Find out who your competitors' customers are. You can learn about competitors' customers by looking at their social media accounts and viewing the profile and comments of people. You can also assess the kind of customers your competitors have. Complete your customer profile. Your profile should include a combination of demographic information, which will help you understand the socioeconomic status of your customers, and psychographic information, which provides insight into the personalities of your customers. Demographic information may be age, it may be gender, occupation, income, or marital status. Psychographic information may include hobbies, interests, beliefs, religion, lifestyle, and technology preferences. Perform research or review existing research. You can conduct research about your target market. You can ask questions to existing customers about their interest and demographic about their perceptions about the products. The market research that had already been done can be very helpful to your business. Trade publications might also be a good source of information for you. Designing product packaging over target market. Packaging is an integral component of a product we have seen in cosmetic containers also. And it plays an important role in selling the product. A vividly beautiful packaging of a product to some extent develops a positive image, a positive impact about it in the minds for the consumers and also a contributing factor for its increasing marketability. It is also important as they can help the customers to recognize a product and literally sell it off the shelf, especially at time of sale. This also serves as the mean of communication. Coming to designing of the product packaging, containers should be strong and can stand the strain of transportation and handling. Ease of handling and inexpensive. 
it must be distinctive, capable of differentiating and suitable for display. Must carry all required information on the label. Colors and material used for outer packaging must not create any socially or psychological e bad image about the product. Capable of keeping intact the hygiene of the product during its shelf life and must advertise the brand and the manufacturer and must be attractive. Coming to designing or initial distribution channel, after you have developed a new product and developed packaging and pricing, the selection of distribution channels and the sale representation is, is the next step for successful marketing. Distribution affects the selection and utilization of all other marketing tools. It is best to select a single distribution channel or a limited number of distribution channels that offer greater ease to entry against the competition, the lowest cost of entry compared to the competitors, least financial risk and commitment to the trade, and sufficient volume potential to reach short term company goals. And in addition, pricing levels to provide acceptable company revenues and profit margins. There are many possible distribution channels which include retail outlets owned by your company or by an independent merchant or a chain wholesale outlets of your own or those of independent distributors or brokers. Sale force compensated by salary, commission or both, direct mail via your own catalog or flyers, telemarketing on your own or through a contract firm, internet marketing selling your products online, TV and cable direct marketing and home shopping channels can also be possible distribution channels as such. In selecting distribution and sales for representation, this include identify how competitors products are sold, analyze trends, weakness, opportunities and threats for your business, examine cost of channels and sales force options, determine which distribution options match your overall marketing strategy. Prioritize your distribution choices. These are some of the techniques which can be used for selecting distribution and sales force representation. Evaluate your competitor's products distribution methods. When analyzing your competitor's distribution methods, it is important to determine who your primary competitors are. They are both direct and indirect competitors. Small businesses lack the resource to effectively compete on every front. So focus on those competitors from whom you can reasonably expect to take market share. Small companies should make a list of any competitors in their marketing area that could compete directly with them for the same list of potential customers. The list of competitors should then be divided into different distribution channels. Coming to SWOT analysis, which helps formulate competitive strategy. A SWOT analysis is an exercise that is vital to formulate many aspects of your business strategy. SWOT is an acronym that stands for four forces that affect your business. Strength, weakness, opportunity and threat. The strength and weakness portion of the analysis looks at the internal company factors that influence your ability to compete effectively. 
the analysis of opportunity and threat centers on the external factors such as competitors and the external environment that affect a company's ability to compete effectively. You will need to build network with potential or current customers, industry associations, trade suppliers, and competitors to help answer these questions. And this includes what are the barriers to enter this product category via each distribution channel, how much do various distribution channels cost to successful enter, should we distribute our business product locally, regionally, nationally or internationally, over what period of time is the money being spent, that is also one of the important criteria. Creating a high quality business website. When you develop a business website, it is important to follow some general guidelines. You want your website to look professional, be easy to navigate, and have quality content. The important necessary aspects which should be considered while designing the business website include number one, decide the scope of your website and plan to meet the needs of your potential customers. If your business sells merchandise, be sure to develop a fully fledged set of product pages that are easy to navigate. If you sell services, be sure to list the contact information of the appropriate business associates corresponding to the particular services described. Secondly, focus on making your website look professional. People will take your website more seriously and appreciate if it the website has a clean, professional look. Nothing should distract from the content of your website or make it more difficult to navigate. Bright colors with too high contrast and too much saturation of pictures and videos are example of what can distract from your website's focus. Also, poor quality photos, disorganized information, and a haphazard design can make a website look unprofessional and immature. Thirdly, create quality content so that potential customers are able to learn what they need to know by visiting your website. You should be able to show people what you know and what you are talking about and prove to them that you can help understand the knowledge related to your company's purpose. They will be more likely to trust you and feel comfortable buying from you. You should develop your product information so that it is both informative and easy to understand. Next point is the prioritizing to have a website that is easy to navigate. We should develop website in such a way that visitors should be able to find what they are looking for in a half dozen clicks or less. Starting from your website's homepage, you should focus to make your website navigation as intuitive as possible. This lessens the visitor's time. If a person cannot find what they need within your website in around half a minute, then there is a good chance they will visit a competitor's website instead of continuing through yours. In the next step, to implement a product selection and purchasing system, that is easy for your customer to navigate, so shopping with you is a simple process. You should display your products with photos and complete descriptions, so all your products are easy to find and learn about. The selection process needs to be easy as well, making it all so simple to remove items the customer has selected in care to change their mind. You should also be able to utilize a shopping cart system that is easy to use if possible. Take as many forms of payment including credit cards and online payment methods. Sixth point is the, to implement search engine optimization technique so that your website displays favorably in search engines. Ideally, you want your website to show up the first page when a person performs a search using 
keywords appropriate to your website purpose. Creating a sitemap and utilizing both meta and alt tags will help your website display favorably. And lastly, dedicate yourself to keeping your website up to date as possible. Doing so will help ensure that existing customers continue visiting your website and that new visitor will find their way to your website and want to become customers. Installing visitor analytics can be extremely helpful in fine-tuning your website, knowing how long an average visitor stays, where they go and where they ultimately leave your website can help you make the proper adjustment within the pages of your website. It is also important to make your company's contact information easy to find within your website should potential customers need to contact you more directly. An about page can also serve as a useful introduction to those interested in your customer's history, its mission statement and such types of things. Coming to focusing on, on advertising, advertisement is a communication tool in marketing used by organization to promote their product or services by influencing the customer's perception towards that particular product or services. Cosmetic industries are focused on creating advertisement that can attract the customers towards their product. Advertisement plays important role in determining consumer buying behavior and can motivate them to buy a particular product. People are highly affected by advertisements that are shown in TV commercials compared to other mass media. Advertisement also provides means for the organization to create awareness in their customers and help the customer in deciding whether to buy or not the particular product. And the window display on the shop is also one of the very important means of advertisement which is being adopted by a number of companies. So companies are investing lots of money in advertisement of the product so as to create perception of the quality awareness of the product among the customers and to affect positively on consumer buying behavior. So student, let us summarize what we have learned in the present module. We have talked about new product development techniques, which include brainstorming, Delphi, expert opinion surveys, experimentation, etc. And for identification of target market, competition, cost of product, current, customer etc are considered as important factors. Packages are designed in attractive and convenient way for marketing and advertisement. Possible distribution channels which include retail outlets, telemarketing, internal marketing, TVs and cash credit marketing. The SWOT analysis is a vital tool for formulating competitive business strategies. Thank you.